Hey, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Savage, and we're back with another one, man. We are back into the streets of Friday the 13th. We will be completing the Virtual Cabin 2.0 Easter egg, man. Let's get it. The way that you get to this is that you go to your offline. You hit the offline selection. Once you get there, you hit Virtual Cabin. Then you'll see a computer on this table when you load in right behind you. So go ahead and click on that. You're going to go to check for updates. The reason why you're entering on a password is that it's going to allow you to pick up items in the game. All right. So the password for this is mother. We all know Jason's mom. Let's get it. Once you hear that sound and you see these words pop up on the screen, you know that you have done it right. We'll be coming back to this computer a little bit later on in our Easter egg. So you can just back out of this for now. All right, so that brings us to the first phase of the Easter egg, which is the diorama. The reason why we're doing these dioramas is because we are trying to get badges to open up the basement door. All right, so you're going to have to place these figurines in the correct order to get your badge. One diorama is located here, and then the other one is going to be in this room off to our right, this first room. But before you head to this room, you're going to head to the bathroom right here, which Jenny Myers is located. To the left of her, inside this box, will be another figurine. Let's go ahead and pick them up. Then, then we'll go to this room now. Caution though, there's a snake in this room. Me personally, I hate snakes. So I definitely don't bang with this guy at all. Yeah. Alright, so you're going to go ahead, pick up these two. Now from left to right, you're going to want to place Ollie. One second, guys. You're going to want to place Ollie. He's wearing the black t shirt. Next in line, you're going to want to place part three, Jason. And last but not least, you're going to want to place Chris with the axe. All right. Oh, you hear him, right? He really doesn't like us, man. <laughs> All right. When you get to this diorama, from left to right, you're going to want to place Jessica first. Next in line, you're going to want to place part nine, Jason. And last but not least, you're going to want to place Steven. Once you've done these steps, you will get your badge. All right, for the second phase of our Easter egg, you're going to want to get the mask, which you'll also be placing in the correct order. The first mask is found in this fireplace. So go ahead and collect that. The second will be found in that same room with the snake. Off to the right, you'll see a wheelchair. And to the left of that wheelchair, in the box, in the open box, you'll see the next mask. The last one will be found upstairs in the la second floor, last door on your left. You will find the last mask inside a blue tent 
Once you look inside the blue tank, you'll see a yellow box. Inside the yellow box, you will find the last mask. So go ahead and grab that. <laughs> All right. And on the second floor, there's in the second floor living room, there'll be a wall right here. This is where you'll be placing it in the correct order. All right, so go ahead and grab these masks off the wall. All right. So the, in this order, the first mask is going to be part three, Jason. Next will be part four, Jason. You'll notice him because to the top right of his mask, there was some damage and you'll notice like a blood spot. Next is the fake Jason mask. This is never a Jason mask. This is an L. <laughs> so just place him down for now. Next in line. We're going to have the cracked mask. It looks like the mask that you put before the blue one. But it has no blood to the top right. Next in line. You're going to have a Jason mask with the black mark at the top. Then you're going to have part eight. And part nine. Once you've completed all the steps, you will get your second badge. The way to unlock it, you have to pick up the blue mask that you put down, the fake one. Now, once you completed that, we're going to be working on the VCR now. For this step, you don't necessarily need the tapes, but for you guys wanted to know, like, how did these people find, how did we find the, um, the clues for it? It's located right here, these tapes, all right? So we're going to have to find four tapes. In each tape, once you load the tape in to the bottom right corner of the screen, there's going to be a timestamp. So if you have the actual movie, if you go to those parts in the movie that they timestamp, they will give you clues. The first tape, we can find it downstairs next to the fireplace. In the first living room. It'll be in this counter right here. And then the second one will be upstairs on a pedestal in the first room on your right. And the last two tapes will be located one in the second floor living room, one on the coffee table to our right. And the last one under the TV. So let me go ahead and show you what I was talking about. We're gonna go ahead and place the first volume into the stream, into the um recorder, into the tape. Can't English right now. <laughs> Let's get it, man. All right. So you see at the bottom, right? It says fifteen fifty one. If you go to that part in the movie, you will see the first clue. And you just do that for everyone. But you guys don't have to do that. I'll show you, I'll show you what to do. All right, so for the first one, it will be downstairs in the bathroom with Jenny Myers. 
That is for the first volume tape. And it is a red banana. The second one will be inside the room with the snake. It's going to be off on the table to the right once again. It's going to be a sheriff badge. All right. The next one is going to be on the second floor. It's going to be on the second floor. In the last room to your left. To the right of the tent, there will be a closet. Click the closet. Can't give you all the jump scares. Let's get it, man. <laughs> and there will be a yo-yo inside this yellow box. And the last one will be found by the main door on the coat rack. It's a blue hat. All right, once you've got all of these, you're going to be using these to also put them in the correct order. The first one, you're going to go to the room with the snake and you're going to place the bandana on the pedestal. And he's still there. <laughs> the way that you know that you're doing this right is that they actually have it in a certain order. So you'll notice one pair. You're going to place this on banana. All right. Then we're going to go to the last room on our left down here. My bad. We're going to go to the second floor. In the last room to our left, we'll have a picture with two birds, which will be placing the sheriff's badge. Next in line, you're going to go to the room on our right, this room right here, and you will be placing the yo-yo. There'll be three birds now. And for the last one, you're going to go downstairs past the kitchen to your right. In that room that's closed, behind the door, you will find four birds and a pedestal under it. And for this one, you'll be placing the hat. Once you've done that, You've got your third badge. Let's get it. All right, so now that you're done with the third phase, you're going to be heading to this phone over here in the main living room off to your right. And you're going to be entering a number. This number on the table, you don't need this right now. The number that you're going to be entering is one five 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 three four two. 9277. Seven. I'm going to repeat that one more time. 1555-342-9277. So let's go ahead and put that in. You will be once you've done that you will get your last badge all right once you've got all the badges you're gonna take them over to the kitchen and you're gonna make a left mm -hmm. and you're gonna place them inside this place them on this mantle right here
once you've done that it will open it will unlock a secret door and you're gonna be heading downstairs and remember when you're heading downstairs keep the door closed okay <laughs> so once we enter here we're gonna close this real quick and you're gonna hear a phone ringing this is the first part first thing you'll notice I wonder what's under these drop quotes. Especially this one. Right, let's go ahead and answer this call. You can bring him back, you know. There's always a way. And once you've seen this, you've completed the first part of the Easter egg. Thank you for watching and definitely drop a like if this was helpful. And I'll see you in the next one. Stay savage. Let's get it, man.